Hello and welcome to today's video. So this is going to be about my favourite control points to farm. Uh, the, the reason I am my favourites is they're nice and quick to take over and they're also near uh, some fast travel points or safe houses. So you'll, as you can see I'm almost on the Grand Washington Hotel which is literally just down the street. So you can fast travel to there and then you can run to the MLK Memorial Library and you've got this cover here when you're attacking the control point so you've got some good vantage points there if you want to get a bit closer to the NPCs you can jump up on this one again you've got cover here and you've got good, some good cover here when you're defending the control point you got some other places so, such as this one here so you got good cover from this side you can see that part of the street there and then you've got cover here with which you can see this that side of the street and then if you want to get a bit further up you can jump up this rope and you've got some good cover here so again some excellent vantage points so you've got a good view of the street that side and you've got cover all the way along here and then cover this side so you can see this side of the street for when the NPCs are attacking so this is why it's one of my favourite control points uh, I'm just going to move on to the next one so I will see you there So here I am at the second control point I've picked on my list. As you can see it's Fallen Cranes. And it's almost next to the final Epiphany safe house. If you don't want to travel there and you've got the classified assignments, you can jump to the classified assignment just north east of the White House. So there's two good fast travel points there. This one I've picked as I said it's because of the proximity but you've also got this building here that when you go upstairs you can you've got some plenty of cover and you've got some good vantage points of the control point there that street and if you run over here you're still in cover and you've got good cover and view of that street if you don't want to sit in this building You can jump up here and again you can a little bit nearer and you've got good cover here and you've got a good view of the control point when attacking it, it if you come in from a different area or a different route you've got this as well so you can run along behind here stand up there crouch down there and you've got an excellent view there and then when you're defending the control point depending where you're defending it from you can climb up here you've got some fairly decent cover if the NPCs are coming down this way you've got some cover if they're coming from there not so much this way but you've got a little bit of cover or you can jump down here and you can sit in between where this gun is and you can sit down here or you can sit up here and you've got some excellent cover and views when defending the control point so there's some very good places for both attacking and defending and I'm just going to move on to the next control point so this is the sinkhole um, when you come to it, you can come through this gate here to the left of it as you're looking back out from the sinkhole. Or you can come from this direction, so through here. So you can come through this gate here and around here. 
and this offers some excellent cover so first of all you've got this bit so you can see the whole of the control point in front of you if you use a long base weapon you can move slightly closer here you've got this police car to the left you've got the pallet with the trays on to the right so you can look at the control point there or as I like to do you can use this elevated point here and which again gives you excellent views of the control point and you almost on top of them when you're defending the control point unless you want to get really close to the enemies you've got an excellent excellent piece here which gives you a clear view of the left hand side so it's really good and then if a second wave of enemies comes from the right hand side again you can just move over to this cover and you've got an excellent view of the right hand side plus a decent view of the left hand side if you want to get nearer to the enemies you can use this point up here so you've got excellent cover here especially in this corner and you'll see where the enemies are coming from and that's the gate I came in earlier and then you've got all around here and then you've got that gate you can come in from this side so that's my other reason is that it's really close to the ring safe house so you can fast travel to that short run and you're at this control point which is excellent if you want to farm east targeted loot in east mole i'm going to move on to the fourth control point so i'll pick you up then here's my fourth uh, choice control point and as you can see it's the choke so when you run into here you got some good cover here you can, all the NPCs are going to be that side of the control point if you want to get a bit closer you can have a seat here again you've got some excellent view yes there is a pillar in the way there but that also obviously helps you as cover as well so it gives you a little bit of respite when they run behind that or if you're feeling really brave you can run up here and you've got some cover here and you've got some here which you can see the right hand side of the control point or you can run to the, these bits here you can have a seat here you can see in here so you've got a good view there and you've got a good view of the top on the second leg where the, you're defending the control point you got some good cover here so if they climb up the truck that's just the other side of that green booth you can catch them there and you can sit out on the left here which you can take pot shots at them when they're running from that side of the control point so when they're around that area there you can do a bit of damage to them before they get into the main area or you can drop down and you can utilize these windows so you're ground floor and you've got a good view of up there and all around the control point and the other reason I like this one is the castle is a fast travel point so you're literally across the street from this so it's a really quick one to get to if you're looking to farm the southwest area of the map which today has golem gear so you can quickly run down from castle and you're at the choke i'm going to move on to my final control point so i'll see you there This is the fifth 
control point that's on my list as you can see it's sleeping giant so this has got some good areas to cover when you're first attacking the control point so you've got this area straight up here if you want to you can run a bit closer and you've got some good cover here again both give you very good views of this area this one further forward gives you a little bit better view on the left there but you have some very good views of this area when you are assaulting the control point if you want to take a bit of cover just in case there's like grenadiers or mortar bombers you can drop down here you've got the roof above you so that you can fall back even fall back to here if you want to you've got some very good cover the pillows pillars give you a bit of respite if you're needing a bit of cover from the npcs if you really want to push the npcs though you can get up here like I did a bit earlier when I was taking the control point I wouldn't recommend it doing it on heroic because unless you're really confident but you can get up here and you can shoot down on top of them there and it stands you in good stead for when you're defending the control point because the NPCs will most likely come from this area to start with and you got a good view when I took it over a minute ago they all jumped over it here where you got the plant growing on the wall so I was able to take them out so I had an excellent view of it again you got excellent view of all down here and all off the right if you move around slightly you got excellent view there I believe when they do a second or third wave they do come from this so you can always move around here and you still got excellent cover if you need to get a little bit closer then you can jump down to this bit again you got excellent view of the first area where I was when I uh, mentioned assault in the control point and then you also got good area cover on this so coming from underneath this building and the other reason again it's close to the attic safe house you literally come out of the attic safe house you run right down the street after turning right on leaving the safe house and you will immediately see the sleeping giant control point so they're my top five control points to farm i uh, hope you find the information useful and it helps you if you're looking at uh, targeted loot for the areas that these control points are in especially if you want an item like a named item from that particular gear set or a named named weapon or maybe even the exotics uh, trying to get one of them to drop um, thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the vendor reset next week